Okay, my Young and the Restless fans, it's that time again. We got another episode to talk about. Victor gifts Nikki a diamond necklace on Valentine's Day. Sharon and Victoria react to the news of Sally's pregnancy and paternity conundrum. And Heather arrives to see Daniel. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your Valentine's Day episode of the young and the restless, February 14th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So we start out over at the coffee house where we see Sally arrives and watch Sharon and Nick talk about the kids on their phones nearby. Nick then get a text from Victoria asking to meet over at Society and then he takes off while Sally decides to let herself in. And Sharon was like, uh, I know you're not looking for me. Hey, Nick just left and she offers to run and catch up with him. But Sally was like, no, I'd rather not. She's trying not to let this relationship be all consuming and Sharon gets her a cup of tea and starts a whole counseling session. And she tells them about Jill being interested in her company and thanks Nick encouraging her to see that she's turned over a new leaf. Now Sharon asks how things are going between her and Nick and Sally says well they're good and Sharon's glad and how Nick deserved uncomplicated stress-free happiness. Sally is impressed how they've stayed so close and Sharon was like there's no secret we share kids together. Then Sally asks about their history and Sharon tells her that they struggle as a couple but were forced to grow up a lot together now they had to learn forgiveness together which is why their bond is so strong and sally wonders if sharon doesn't think she's good enough for nick sharon sees a spark and thought that she was more of a perfect match from adam initially and we of course all thought the same thing too she sees sally has learned from her mistakes and gives her credit for trying to do better and sally was thankful for that sharon called nick impulsive especially when it comes to love not that she's trying to derail anything and she says she and Nick are in different places at this point and she's on a whole journey of self-discovery since her battle with breast cancer and she talks about family being there for her including Nick Sharon can see though that she's looking for some confirmation that Nick is going to stand by her through sickness and health uh you're not married yet Sally however she asks if Sally is facing a medical problem sally says no and then she says that she's pregnant and terrified and sharon not only digested she looks very shocked however she called it a normal reaction now sally says that her mom was no mom at all so she's not sure that she can do this she also doesn't want nick to feel trapped now sharon says nick will willingly do the right thing and he loves being a father and she can tell by the way sally is acting that uh Adam is also a contender to be the dad. Now, Sally gets freaked out. She jumps up. She's ready to leave. But Sharon tells her, wait, wait, wait. There's no judgment. Her secret is safe with her. And Sally is so sorry for putting Sharon in this situation. However, Sharon says that, you know what? You can trust me. So now over at Chancellor Park, Lily finds Daniel sitting there in the cold and she's joking that he's preemptively stalking her and he's quiet. So she gives him some peppermint candy. They wished each other happy Valentine's Day, but he is so glum thinking about Heather and letting go of the pain. And she gives him a pep talk. They reminisce about being in love as kids. And he tells her that she's been there through all of his darkest days. They flash back to their time in California with their jobs at the banana stand wearing banana and strawberry costumes. They think their unrelenting love and support came out of that. And she remembers Daniel visiting her at another point in their lives when he told her he knows where his baby is. Lily lets him know how he shaped who she is as well. And he thanks her and calls her the best. They embrace and then they leave together. 
So now we're over at the ranch where we see Nikki says that the planning committee meeting went well and General City Bicentennial event will be the talk of the season. Now, Victor talks to his wife about the kids always being at odds with each other. You know, Victor, that's partly because of you pitting them against each other. Now, Nikki asks if he hasn't misrepresented things between them. Uh, yeah, he did. Now, Victoria is wary of the chaos that Adam brings to them. However, he's proven that he can't go along without creating drama. However, Victor, he wants to put an end to all of this, but Victoria's protective nature of the company and its success is more important. And he knows that she's doing a good job. Nikki, however, thinks Adam needs to prove he can put the company above his personal grievances, and she doesn't see that happening. I wonder why, Nikki, because sometimes when you try to prove something to somebody, they don't accept the proof. I mean, dang, he did give away a kidney. However, they do talk about how well they did with their kids. And Victor thinks their love is the stuff poems are written about. She grabs an envelope, one of the first Valentine's Day card he ever gave her. And he looks at it, kiss, smile at each other. He always knew they defy all of the odds. He always knew his heart belonged to her, even when others were in the picture. They reminisce about her telling him they belong to each other. She recalls telling him she loves him and won't leave him and him embracing her. Victor recalls talking about it being their destiny. Hmm, sound like Brooke to be together and remarrying her. They snuggle and he talks about always coming coming back to his strong, independent, beautiful wife. They have another smooch and then Victor gifts her something to remind her of their love. And she reads the card telling her she manages to still take his breath away. And he takes out a little sparkly necklace. And of course, she is shocked. He repeats, there we go, there we go, a few times as he put it on her. And of course, it's to replace the stolen one that we all know Jack stole for Diane. However, she can wear this one here since they'll keep the other one in Chicago. And then they say their I love yous. Speaking of the Newman kids, Nick finds Victoria at society and it's all set up for Valentine's Day and they joke about being in for the night of romance and passion. And she's telling her brother that she's worried about their dad wanting to give Adam control of Tucker's empire. And then conversation turns to Sally. She offers her support since he's been so supportive of her in the past. And if he needs to share, he can come to her. And she said, I won't push. I won't pry for information. And she says all of this before Nick blurts out, Sally is pregnant. And of course, Victoria is shocked. You can tell by the look on her face as she's trying to take a sip of that martini. Now, Nick tells her it's Sage and Adam all over again. That's because you always interloping when it comes to Adam. Anyway, Victoria asks if this is going to make or break his relationship. Now, Nick feels deeply for her and is more invested with a baby on the way. Now, Victoria asks if it'll hold true if this baby isn't his and Adam's. And he's not sure of how it's going to go, but he's happy. And Victoria agrees to keep it all to herself. And finally, Daniel arrives over at the Grand Phoenix and all the looks at all of the Valentine's Day dinners outside of the suite. And he meanders into the room, all sad and glum looking. And when he opens the door, he sees Heather on the sofa. Heather, he says. Yeah, it's Heather. I wonder what she has to say. And where's Lucy? Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Tuesday, February 14th, 2023. Stay tuned for the bold and the beautiful recap also for today. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.